Now, let's go ahead and add the remaining four images and edit each. So each will be 400 by 400 pixels. And then we will export all five of the images. All right, let's first, I'm gonna go up to my rulers. And if your rulers are not showing, you can go to view and hide show your rulers. By having the rulers available, we can place the cursor inside of the ruler well, and you can drag out guides. And I'm just going to drag a guide. So that will be at the top of my image. And I'll drag another guide from the side ruler, like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and really zoom in and I'm going to make sure these rulers are right at the top and at the side of my image like so. And I can use these guides to help me align the other images. So I'm going to use that to my advantage for cropping these images. All right, let's go ahead and add our next image. And I'll, I'll just add Road Rage by Max Grundy here, which I found. So I'm going to drag this right inside. And this is a pretty large image. So what I'm going to do is use those guides like so. And then I'm just going to grab the lower corner and hold the shift key and constrain this. Actually, now it's interesting. Sometimes the newer version of Photoshop, you shouldn't hold the shift key. But in a previous demo, I had to hold the shift key to uh, constrain. And it might have been the way I was moving the file around. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get it close and then commit and then zoom in like so. And we can even add a guide to the bottom of the image that I already know is 400 by 400 pixels. And then I'll grab this corner again. And I'm just going to watch the width and the height. And when my height gets to 400, I'll go ahead and release. Okay, so now in our properties, we'll see that our width, <clears throat> the height is 400, and the width is 534. So I'm going to do something similar and just use a constraint on, or a a width and a height on a selection. And again, the fixed size will be 400 by 400. So I'll just click like so. And I'm going to make sure that Road Rage by Max Grundy, and I should point out Max is um, uh, an artist, that I asked if I could use his work in my school demonstrations and he was gracious enough to say yes but um, I want to make sure I give him credit and I want to point out that uh, as an agreement with him I don't take any of his work out of context so all I'm going to do is crop his image here I'm not going to modify it in any other way so I'm just going to crop this so with road rage selected let's go ahead and go up to layer and let's rasterize the smart object. So we end up with just pixels. Now I'm going to copy and paste. So we can do edit, copy, edit, paste, and we'll have this new layer. So I can hide the first layer. I'm going to select and then double click and get the name of the file. I'm going to copy this and then select layer one and paste. And then I'm going to go ahead and also take the Ford F100 truck 
I'm going to move this one up one layer. And the idea is I'm going to keep all of the cropped artwork up here at the top. And I'll keep the original artwork with the layer eyeball turned off or the visibility turned off down below. Okay. All right. So we have our next image. So I might move these over a little bit. So I'm just going to select the Ford, the uh, orange truck here. I'm going to hold the shift key and I'm going to click or I'm going to use the left arrow. I'm going to move this over like so. And I'll select Max's truck here. Do the same thing. Hold the shift key and move this one over a little bit. I can always get this guide and move it again. Okay. All right. So now let's go get our next image. And I'm going to select this one here next and just drag it in. And then I'm going to zoom out. And we'll go ahead and select. Let's go ahead and position this one. I'll grab the lower corner. And I'm going to bring this one all the way up. And I'm going to get this close to 400. And you'll notice this one is 396 by 401. And this is um, an image which is um, royalty free to use. Okay, so it, it meets Creative Commons, and we can talk about that more later. But these you can also, and, and you can look them up and uh, search for them on ones that you can or cannot use without modification. And some can sometimes you have to modify them. All right, so I'm going to commit and zoom in a little bit. And now this one <clears throat> with the move tool, I'm going to go ahead and select. And this one I'm going to, let's see, I want to change the width and the height on this one here. So let's go ahead and make sure this one is rasterized also. So we'll select layer, rasterize the smart object. I can now get at the width and the height. And let's go ahead and take the constraint off. And this one I'm going to sort of contort it a little bit, but it's so close in the width and the height that I don't believe it's really going to matter. So let's make the width and the height 400. And there we go. Okay. So now we have three of them ready. And there's that new one right there. Okay, let's go back to our image folder and I'll grab this image. Bring this one in again. I'll use my guides to get the basic position. And I'm holding the space bar, which gives me the grabber tool, which is this tool right over here. And that just allows me to move my entire document around. I'll grab the lower corner. And I'm going to continue to move this one. And I'm going to get the, we're going to come up on 400 on the width first. Okay. So there's width 400. So let's go ahead and commit to this. Then we'll zoom in. And you could use the zoom tool or you can use the key shortcuts to zoom in on a Mac, space bar and the command key, zoom in, space, command, option, zoom out. All right. So we'll get pretty close here. Let me just zoom in a little bit again. Let's get our rectangle tool, rectangle marquee tool. We still have a fixed size of 400 by 400. So I'll start right up here. There we go. Again, this is a smart object. Let's rasterize our smart object. Perfect. 
Now what we will do with our layer selected is let's go ahead and copy and paste. I'm going to select this first layer that I was working with for the artwork, get the name, so we'll copy, double click on layer one, paste, and then I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead and collapse my layers, my uh, panels here for a moment, and then open layers. This will allow me to scroll through these a little bit more easily. We can even move this up some. This way we can see more of our layers. So I'm going to take this one here, select it, and move it down. So again, we keep the edited layers up here at the top all together. Okay. So we have one more to go. Let's go back and I'll add my last image like so. And this one's really large. Okay. And this one's going to be, let's go ahead and just commit and then get our move tool and we'll just kind of move this one. So this one's going to need to be, um, we're going to delete some of the content first and kind of get a basic crop and then we can scale it down. Okay. So I'm going to select this layer, which we just imported the image layer, rasterize, smart object. Now I'm going to use my marquee tool, but I don't want to fix size at the moment. So let's go back to normal. And I'm just going to select on the outside of this image. And for right now, just come up and make sure my layer is selected, then press delete and then command D to deselect. I'm going to go ahead and get the move tool move this image down a little bit then we'll get our marquee tool again and let's just get rid of the top of this image now I clicked on the canvas area so my layers not selected anymore so I'm gonna make sure I select my layer before I try to delete because maybe a different layer was selected or maybe nothing was selected so I'm gonna make sure my layer is in fact selected and then we will delete command D to deselect. Let's go ahead and move our image like so. I'm going to collapse my layer so I can see this handle. And I'm going to watch the width and the height. And in this case, we get to the height at 400 first. And then I see the width is 466 or something like that. Let's go ahead and commit. And then we will <clears throat> zoom in a little bit. And now we'll go back and get the rectangular marquee tool. We'll change the style back to a fixed size, which will remember the 400 by 400. We'll click and drag and then I'll just make a decision on how I'm going to select this. And I believe something like this is going to work just fine. Let's go ahead and take a look at our layers. I'm going to make sure the layer with the Corvette here is selected. Then we will edit, copy, edit, paste. I'm going to move layer one up to the top. And this layer here, we can turn off and that should leave five layers. I'm going to rename layer one. This will be 70 Restomod Corvette. Press return to set. And let's go ahead and collapse our layers. 
I'm going to zoom out, move my canvas over. I'm going to hide my guides. Let's just go up to view and we'll go to extras. So view extras. Okay. Though it should be guides in here also somewhere. Okay, we have clear guides, clear, new, lock. So it might just be extras now. Okay, so we can hide and show our guides through the extras. Okay, now I haven't saved in a while. I can tell that because there's an asterisk right here. So I'm going to go ahead and save. and then just click OK. And we are now ready to export our files.